It's not every day you run across a chef trained in Paris who likes to jump barns while dinner is cooking 20 feet below. Chef Michael McGovern is on a mission to bring backcountry cuisine up a notch, all while getting in a few turns. Michael paid his dues on the French cooking scene, working and training in the Eiffel Tower among culinary masters preparing gourmet cuisine. When I first started cooking, I thought working at the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France as a professional chef would be my dream job. But city life wasn't for me. I decided I had to get back to the mountains. So I left Paris and found my way back to Colorado. It started out with just small tours out of town and exploring outdoor cooking, trying to not sacrifice the quality of food just because of the location. The more comfortable I got with not having the conveniences of big fancy kitchens, the more I made the most out of what I had. I realized that I could take all the things I learned in the city, all the techniques that I learned in Paris, oh, yeah. and bring them up into the middle of the mountains and share those with other people. To be cooking on fire in the back country, everything goes on your back or it goes in your sled, but everything's gotta be brought in. And that's one of the reasons why I love cooking outside so much is that it's a challenge, it's hard. Once I started touring in the backcountry more and more, and there was always a fireplace. There was always fire. I mean, that was that was our heat. That's you know how we do things. Got to be able to make fire before you can use fire. <laughs> and not only are you using your fire to cook with, but it's keeping people warm. It's yeah. keeping people happy. It gives them a good place to talk about the day. All in all, it's a positive situation. I always look for a good base area, a good structure. I look for, you know, a good pre-existing fire pit. Anything that you know you can build out of. So you can go climb a 14,000 foot peak, come back, and cook your meal. It's a good suey right there. One that knows what needs to be done. That's why you're there. You want to get the good turns. You want to climb the mountains. You should also have good food. Cooking outside is all about timing. I like to use large pieces of meat that take a very long time to cook, so I've got time to do other things. Once everybody gets back, we like to light a big fire, get some coals going. The pan's hot, the veggies are in, everybody's hungry, it's smelling good, and you're sitting down and eating. It's really fun to give people a different kind of experience through food and the outdoors, and sometimes a little something they didn't think would happen. 